So now we will see different DOM selectors to find HTML elements in JavaScript. So guys, basically we have multiple DOM selectors over here that can be used in order to find the HTML elements and based on your choice and the project requirements, you can use any of them while you are finding the HTML elements on the web pages. Now guys, it is important to note that if you are using any of the selector, make sure that you are using that selector only throughout the JavaScript code so that it becomes helpful for you and anyone else that is reading your code in order to maintain it in future. So guys, let us see all these DOM selectors one by one with the help of examples. So let us move to VS code over here and simply I'm going to remove the previous lines of code that we had written in the HTML and the JavaScript files over here. Now guys, what we will do is simply we are going to create the diff tag with the ID. So let's say we have the ID as demo over here and then we will say diff tag with ID demo in this case. Now guys, similarly, we are going to have another diff tag, but this time instead of having the ID, we are going to create the class and then let's say we provide the value as demo class over here. Similarly, we will provide the value as demo ID for the ID attribute. And then also we will update the content over here. We will say diff tag with demo ID and then we will say diff tag with demo class over here. So guys, basically we have created two different diff tags with the different statements over here. One statement is having the ID value and the other statement is having the class value over here. Now guys, let us try to identify these HTML elements with the help of the JavaScript. So what we will do is inside the test.js file, which we have to link it with the HTML file over here. So simply I'm going to provide the script tag in this case with the SRC attribute as test.js, which is the external file in this case. So guys, inside the test.js file, we can make use of the first method that is get element by ID over here. So guys, this method helps us in order to identify Identify the HTML element with the value of the ID over here that we have provided inside our HTML file. So let us provide document followed by dot and then we have the get element by ID method and inside the parenthesis we provide the value of the ID. So simply we provide demo ID over here. So let me just copy this and paste it inside the parenthesis with the single code. Now guys, let us print this particular HTML element. So simply we will enclose this entire statement within console.log. So over here we will provide console followed by dot and then we have the log statement over here. And then inside the open and close parenthesis, we have this entire statement. So guys, let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see, we have these two statements that is div tag with demo ID and div tag with demo class over here but we are only getting the HTML element that is div tag with demo ID over here that's because we are only trying to access the HTML element that is having the ID with the help of the get element by ID method over here so guys as you can see this is the first way in order to get the HTML element now guys the second way is in order to get the elements by using the class name over here now always remember when you're using the class name the same class name can be present for multiple HTML elements and that is why we will get the list of all the HTML elements that we are going to access with the help of the class name over here so guys let us try that as well so what we have to do is again we will type document followed by dot and this time we will say get elements by class name over here so as you can see this is the method that is suggested by the VS code in this case and inside the parent Parenthesis. we again have to provide double quotes or single quotes over here and then we provide the value of the class that is demo class over here so let me just copy this value and paste it and then let us say we want to print it on the console so simply we provide the console.log statement and enclose this entire statement within the log statement over here so when we save this file now let us reload this page once again now so as you can see first of all we have got the html element that is diff tag with the demo id and the second Second log statement has helped us in order to get the HTML collection. So guys, as I have told you, this get elements by class name will return you multiple HTML elements based on the matches that are found on the HTML page with the help of that particular class name. So guys, over here, you can see the HTML collection 
but it is only having the length of one over here since we have only one HTML element with this class that is demo class in this case. Let us have another HTML element over here with the same class that is demo class over here. So we will say div tag two in this case with class demo. So over here we have provided with demo class. Let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again. Notice that currently we have length one over here, but when we reload this page once again, you can see that HTML collection is now having two length over here. When we expand this, you can see length is two and we have two div tags over here. Similarly, we can also have the paragraph tag with the class that is demo class. So let me just provide the P tag instead of the div tag over here and we will say paragraph tag. So as you can see, we have paragraph tag with the demo class. Let me just save this file now. And when we reload this page once again on the browser, so currently we will have three tags with the class that is demo class over here. The first two are the div tags over here. And then we have the third tag that is the paragraph tag and the length is three. So guys, in this way, if you want to select multiple HTML elements at the same time with the help of the class value, you can make use of the get elements by class name over here. Because apart from this, we also have something called as get elements by tag name in this case. So guys, basically we make use of these tag names that we have provided inside the HTML code. So let's say we want to find out all the div tags over here. So simply we can make use of the div value inside the get elements by tag name. So let me just comment out these lines of code over here and then simply we will say document dot get elements by tag name. As you can see, this is the method that we can use. And then inside the parenthesis, we provide the quotes. And then inside these quotes, we provide the name of the tag that is div in this case. And then guys, what will happen is over here, we should expect all the div tags that must be printed on the console. So let us enclose this entire statement inside the console.log. So over here, we provide a console followed by dot and then we have the log keyword over here. So guys over here we have provided the log statement and enclosed this particular get elements by tag name function inside the console.log. So let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see again we are getting the HTML collection and it is having the length of three over here. When we expand this all these are having the div tags over here and irrespective whether we have the id or the class name for those div tags all the div tags will be retrieved and they can be used for further processing as per your project requirement so guys this is another way in order to select the html elements over here by using the get elements by tag name now guys apart from this we also have another function that is query selector which is one of my favorite functions so guys what we can do is instead of making use of these get element by id or the class names over here simply we can use the query selector over here so we provide the document keyword followed by dot and then we provide the query selector in this case now guys how do we provide the id or the class name of any of the html elements that we want to retrieve so guys over here inside the double or single quotes if you want to provide the id of the html element you have to make use of the hash character over here so similar to how we use the css selectors in order to provide the css properties in the same way you can make use of the query selector over here so when we make use of the id we provide the hash character and then followed by the value of that id so let me just provide the console.log statement in order to see which html element will be printed by using this particular demo id value along with the hash character when we are using query selector over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we are getting the diff tag that is having the id it is equal to demo id and the statement is div tag with demo id so guys in this way if you have the html element along with the id value you can make use of the query selector and inside this while providing the value you can provide the hash character over here now guys in the same statement you can provide the class name as well along with the dot character so let's say you want to access these html elements which are having the class name that is demo class over here how many tags do we have with the class that is demo class we have the two div tags over here and then apart from this we also have the paragraph tag so what we can do is simply make use of this class name that is demo class 
and then inside the javascript file over here we make use of the query selector function over here and inside the parenthesis we have the double or the single quotes and then we provide dot character followed by the class name now guys since there are multiple html elements with this particular class name over here as we have seen inside the html code only the first html element will be matched over here and it will be returned on the console so guys let us check that as well so over here let me just save this javascript file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser as you can see the first div tag that got matched with the class name that is demo class is returned and is getting printed on the console that's because we have made use of the query selector which is capable to return only one html element at a time so we can use any of the css selectors over here we have first checked the id value with the help of the hash character and then next we have checked the class value with the help of the dot character over here now guys what if we want all the elements which we were able to get with the help of the get elements by class name so can query selector help us in order to get all those html elements at once yes we can make use of the query selector all function in that case in order to get all the html elements at once so guys basically this is the only difference query selector will help you in order to return only one html element over here as you can see but in order to get all the other html elements you can make use of the query selector all function so this is the function that you can make use of in order to get the multiple html elements that is having the class name demo class so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see this time we are getting the node list over here and it is also providing the length that is 3 in this case when we expand this node list you can see that the first two div tags are having the demo class over here and the third tag is the paragraph tag which is again having the demo class in this case so guys in this way if you want to get multiple html elements you can make use of the query selector all function over here and in case if you want only one html element that is the first match on the web page then you can make use of the query selector that we have already seen these two methods that is query selector and query selector all provides you the flexibility in order to either provide the id or the class name of the html elements that you want to find on the web page so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is output in javascript so stay tuned